Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Precious Holy Spirit, we welcome you into this place. We honor you and revile you. You are the power of God. You are the presence of God. Come on, somebody, revile the Holy Spirit. Appreciate the anointing. Welcome the oil. Oh, anoint yourself. Anoint your oh, come on somebody. Amen. The, the precious Holy Spirit is not detached. He is the presence of God amongst us. He is not seated on a throne. He has been designated to empower us for such a season as this. He has said in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. We know that in these days the power of God has been availed to every Everyone. Highly placed and lowly placed. Educated and illiterate. Everyone can access the power of God. And that is why I want us to welcome him. Welcome him into your house. Welcome him into your family. Welcome him into your living room. Into your lobby. Our precious Holy Spirit, I welcome you right now. I welcome you into the Miracle Center Cathedral. I welcome you among my children. I welcome you into my husband. Oh, precious Holy Spirit. I welcome your presence and your power around me even as I minister today. Come on, somebody just revive him, just honor him. We are those five virgins that will not miss the time of our visitation because we have the oil. Acknowledge the oil right now. Welcome the Holy Spirit right now. Oh, precious Holy Spirit, we are excited to welcome you into our houses at such a time as this. To welcome you into our families and our marriages at such a time as this. The presence of God, the power of God, the guide, the Intercessor. Oh, precious Holy Spirit, we just love and adore you. We welcome you and we revile you. I want to extend special Mother's Day to every lady every woman motherhood is not about being uh, just being a biological mother but every woman out there for every tear you have wiped for every hand that you have held for every hug that you have given for every counsel that you have offered you have been a mother and therefore happy Mother's Day may you see the fruit of your labor May God never forget your labor of love. And even as we say Happy Mother's Day, we lift up at this particular time the reason we are mothers. We raise our children. We seal them with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Or oh, we call forth a million angels to stand above them. Beneath them, besides them, and around them. Satan, we warn you that you do not have a hold over our children. And anything you might have assigned to tamper with them has been rendered helpless and ineffective. We decree and declare that as mothers we will see the fruits of our labor. Our job will come to fruition. Our effort will be rewarded. We decree and declare that because we are tithers, our fruit will not fall to the ground before it's time. Our 
our children will not see disaster. Uh, we decree and declare again that because we are mothers all we will rejoice and testify of the goodness of God regarding anything that comes our way. Because the Bible says children are a gift from God. They are his reward. Oh, and, and, and uh, the, 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 the blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. His enemy shall be met at the gate. Father, we thank you because our enemies will continue to be met at our gate. The enemy of lack. Oh, the, 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 uh, the enemy of shame. The enemy of embarrassment. We will continue to be mothers. And our children will stand in the gap. We also pray that our children, according to Proverbs 31, will stand up and call us blessed because you will bless us. We come against any spirit of death that will remove us from motherhood at any early stage. We will raise our children. We will see their wedding. Or we will see their graduation. We will see our grandchildren. Oh, come on somebody if you're watching you can lift up a mother today is mother's day glorify God for a mother thank God for a mother and if anyone can transform a mother they will transform the child hallelujah Amen. we thank God that we are the reason that they are children we thank God for the grace that he gave us to carry these children for nine months in our wombs isn't that because we are beautifully and wonderfully made. God is glorious. He is awesome. And for all our children, we pray too that you will see the gift of motherhood that you will hold children in your hands that you will glorify God for beautiful, the beautiful babies that you see hallelujah amen amen and amen, amen, and amen. I in, this, in a special way also would like to thank all my spiritual, biological, uh, physical children that have sent me messages. Uh, to, say happy ba to say happy birthday. I have had an, I mean to, to say uh, happy Mother's Day. I have had an awesome Mother's Day. And if you are a child out there and you have forgotten your mother and you have not said happy Mother's Day, now is the time to say happy Mother's Day to them. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to to pray around the oil. Uh, but also out of a um, matter of concern for people who genuinely care about me or about us. Uh, this is something that we would not have addressed on the pulpit and we did not want it to go to you know to go there because we prefer to keep quiet sometimes when uh, when issues are raised uh, but because we have got so many uh, people who were showing care and worry and concern regarding us and our home um, I, uh, we felt a need uh, to, to correct the misconstrue that that has you know that 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 that, that has been um, in the media and has hit the airwaves. 
Uh, we want you to know that our house is not under siege. We are not under water. Um, I understand there was a video um, 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 or some news propagated by, um, I hear it was Park Television. I'm not yet sure because I haven't watched it. And they said that our house was underwater and the compound was flooded. And it's a video that has been pro- propagated for propagated for some time now. And uh, and and uh, has skyrocketed skyrocketed because we said nothing. Uh, we want you to know that our compound is clear. Uh, our house is safe. We, we do live by the water, but we have not been affected. Uh, we still have uh, the view we had, but the, 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 the house portrayed in the papers is not our house. So those of you who have been worried and you know you thought we had sunk, people <inaudible> thought that our children were you know swimming. And it's very untrue. I am yet to figure out why um, that was, pro- you know, pro- our heart goes out to the homes that are sinking in the water, but we are not among those homes. And our heart, you know, our heart goes out to the families. But we want you to know that we are safe, we are fine, we are okay, and our home is safe. And, uh, and and we st- we stand you know in in, in in all sincerity to refute the claims uh, of, of 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 this media house or of that video not because there is anything wrong with it, with, with with you know being you know under siege at such a time as this so we want you to know that our neighbors are safe and they are going to And uh, we, for those of you who want to look in, we will give you, you know, b- better, de- better details. Because I know there are some people who are saying, please uh, show us this and, you know. Yes, and, uh, you know, we will give you, but you, usually we do not want to respond. Because even before that, there was another media house that, you know, came up with something and we didn't respond. But this, because people are sincerely, uh, you know, uh, 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 sincerely, um, um, confused we we decided to you know we have decided to to correct it yes um Thank you. Yeah, online there. Online is saying it's not just Spark TV. There is another media house that, well, you know, that one I won't mention. I won't go into. But I just wanted to, uh, by mentioning Spark, I want I was giving uh, calling attention to that particular video. So, mm-hmm. um, um, whoever propagated that, it is not true. And uh, if I can borrow the vocabulary of a well-known president, I will say it is fake news. Hallelujah. Amen. We will go on to pray about our feet. Hallelujah. Amen. We need our feet to be empowered with the oil. We need our feet to be empowered anointed. We need the glory of God to be on our feet. And we have prayed against the spirit of vagabondism. We have prayed about the, 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 the feet of God aligning themselves with our destiny and our fellowship. 
to servant ye bigere bya febi kwataganya le wamo nokusaka kana nokulunga mizikwa kwa katonda we have also prayed era twengede ne tusaba that our feet will align themselves with the timing and the season of god e bigere bya febi na kwasaganyiza wamo ne biro ne bisera bya katonda the last time i was on this pulpit when nasembo kubera kuchitote chino we were praying about climbing mountains twabadde twali tusabira mu kuwala mpinga tuli nyenso and we saw that god has given us the feet of hind ne tulabanga katonda atuwadde bigere byenangazi and if a mountain has not gotten out of your way or so you want to do the mass you have the ability to climb it when your feet are empowered or in our busobozi okulinyo lusozoro nge bigere bebiwebedwa ma we have seen the prophecy for on ashe tulabyo bunabbi eli ashe and how god said to him ngakatonda boyamugamba that his sibling, his offspring would be blessed ndi ezadde bi dinabali amukisa and he would be acceptable among his siblings eraja kubakirizidwa mboluganda because his feet were dipped in oil kubange bigerebe byali binyekedwa mafuta we have seen job tulabye yobu reminiscing of the beautiful days ngayejukanya kunakwe nnunji the wonderful days enakwe zeche wunyo says those days nagamba munakuziri when my feet ngebigere bya we are washed in oil we are dipped in oil everything i touch even the hard things even the rocky things all turn to oil oh can you imagine job job says once your feet are anointed i think it is in 29 verse 6 he says once they are anointed everything will turn into oil for you fukira mafuta hallelujah and many times we talk about our mouths being anointed rustogera kubimwaja fukubana mafuta our minds being anointed and those as a fukubana mafuta but we forget that our feet too netwera byanti nebigere bya fe can be anointed bisobola kufukibwa kama fukaga katonda hallelujah amen today lero we want to pray that our feet are empowered to escape okusobola okubomba obokutoloka the snare of the fowler emitego joyo mutemu obomubi that our feet will be empowered ebigere bya febiwe bwaman to escape the net tusobola okutoloka omutego job chapter 18 verse 18 says job 19:18 gamba for he is thrown kuba kubanga akasukidwa into the net eliyo mutego bakatimba by his own feet eliye olwe bigere beye mwenyini for he is thrown kubanga asulidwa into the net mukatego mutimba by his own feet olwe bigere ebye and tonight erecho cholwale we don't want to be tetwagala kubera like the description in job chapter 18 verse ngeche chinyonyora mu job 18:18 the and the feet that are not empowered e bigere bitawe bwedwa Man. the feet that lack oil the feet that walk straight into the trap of the enemy the feet that ensnare themselves job chapter 18 verse 8 one of job's colleagues is commenting about feet that lead you straight into the net and we refute that today we say our feet will never be like those that take you into the net god has the ability to cause you to escape the net god has the ability to cause you to walk away from the net hallelujah Amen. so job chapter 18 verse 8 job 18:8 is what we are praying against our che tusabanga twanganga those feet ebigerebyo that lead you ebikulunga mene bikutwala into the net eliye mitego jo mulabi that is very very misleading echo chuwabyanyo it is a, 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 a 
feet that are not empowered God has gazetted a plan of protection for you and there is a way that you can stay within the safe zone of God there is a Goshen for every individual but your feet must be aligned to walk within the safe zone that God has designated your feet must be aligned to stay within the gazetted area when your, when your feet are not empowered with an anointing they lead you straight out of the protection of your father and that is why we are going to pray yes, that God will empower us and lead us away from the net. There are many reasons why people fall into the hands of the enemy. I'll give just a few. One of the gazetted zones of protection is righteousness. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. The feet that take you into righteousness, the feet that take you into godliness, the feet that take you into holiness. They are feet that keep you within the gazetted area of protection. The feet that take you into doing what God requires of you. They are feet that keep you within the gazetted zone of our Lord Jesus Christ. So one of them is righteousness. And once your feet feet are not inclined and are not aligned with walking into what is holy then they will lead you to walk into a net to walk into a snare hallelujah there are many other reasons that we will see as we go ahead. We are, our text for today is um, Nehemiah chapter 6. And let us read Nehemiah. When word came to Sanballat, oh, online church, all oh, my intercessors, you are welcome. Kezabu, Nasamula, KM, Ann and Simbi, Jackie, my dear daughter, and, um, and um, Penny, Chirabo, Margaret, Nedembe, Zion, I saw you. Um, 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 uh, uh, Pastor Wari Joseph, uh, Chris Opio, I saw you. Uh, Besweri, I saw you. Margaret Minge, Rose, Charlotte, you are all welcome. Pastor Wari, all of you are welcome. And, uh, and all the others that I will mention with time. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 6. When word came to some ballot. Tobiah, Tobiah Geshem the Arab Geshem Omwarab, and the rest of our enemies that I had rebuilt the wall and not a gap was left in it though up to that time I had not set the doors in the gates Sanbalat and Geshem sent me this message come let us meet together in one of the villages on the plain of Ono. But they were scheming to harm me. So I sent messengers to them with this reply. I am carrying on a great project and cannot go down. Why should the work stop while I leave it? 
and go down to you. Four times they sent me the same message. And each time I gave them the same answer. Then the fifth time, Sanbalan sent his assistant to me with the same message. And in his hand was an unsealed letter in which was written. It is reported among the nations and Geshem says it is true that you and the Jews are plotting to revolt and therefore you are building the wall. Moreover, according to these reports, you are be about to become their king and have even appointed prophets to make this proclamation about you in Jerusalem. There is a king in Judah. Now this report will get back to the king to come. So let us meet. Again, the, the second time they are asking Nehemiah to come and meet them. And Nehemiah, the second time, is saying no. I sent him this reply. Nothing like what you are saying is happening. You are just making it up out of your head. In other words, it's Nehemiah, you are trying to frighten me into coming to you, but I will not. I have a work that I am doing. Hallelujah. Amen. They were all trying to frighten us thinking that we will go too weak to work. But I prayed and I asked God to strengthen my hands. One day I went to the house of Shemaiah, son of Deliah, the son of so and so. And he said, let us meet in the house of God, the temple, and let us close the temple doors because men are coming to kill you. By night, they are coming to kill you. But I said, should a man like me run away or should someone like me go into the temple to save his life? I will not go. I realized that God had not sent him but that he had prophesied against me because Tobiah and Sabalat had hired him. He had been hired to intimidate me so that I would commit a sin a, a sin by doing this and then they would give me a bad name to discredit me and he prays remember to buy and sunballad my God because of what they have done remember also the prophet Noadia and how she and the rest of the prophets have been trying to intimidate me so the war was completed on the 25th of Elu in 52 days Nehemiah Nehemiah, who is a Jewish um, an Israelite who has returned from exile embarks on building a wall hallelujah Amen. and as he builds he is faced with enmity they are non-Jews who are fighting the wall who are intimidated by the wall who don't want the wall of Israel to go up and they try to devise a, a way to get a hold of Nehemiah and throw him into a net and throw him into a trap so that they, the, 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 the building of the wall will stop but Nehemiah's feet are anointed feet they are not feet 
that simply stand up and go somewhere out of excitement. They are not fit that will simply raise up and go to places because they must. The feet of Nehemiah are sensitive to the power of God. They are in tune with what God wants him to do. And so his feet refuse to adhere to the enemy's request. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 5 says a man who flatters his neighbor is spreading a net for his path. A man who flatters his neighbor is spreading a net for his path. In, uh, in, in, in trying to avoid nets, beware of flattery. These people are not friends of Israel. These people are not of the Israelite nationals. They are people who have opposed Israel. They are people who have thrown them into exile. And now they are saying to Nehemiah, stand up, get on your feet, come to us, let us talk. They begin to reason to Nehemiah with Nehemiah as friends. They begin to reason with Nehemiah as, as colleagues. They try to talk to Nehemiah as if they mean well. Every time people come to you and they speak positive and they flatter and they exalt even when you know you are wrong and they keep you further in sin and they keep you father in rebellion, you must be careful. Proverbs 29 verse 5, a man who flatters his neighbor is spreading a net for his path. But thank God for anointed feet. Nehemiah says no. My feet are too busy now. I am walking the road where God has orchestrated that I be at such a time as this. I am doing the work that keeps me within the protection of my father. I am doing the work that keeps me in righteousness. I am doing the work that is adherence to what God has told me to do. And therefore, I will not come to you. Oh, may God empower my feet to be sensitive to the safe zone. May God empower my feet to be sensitive to the demarcated area of his protection. May God empower my feet to be sensitive to run away from the trap. I will not let my feet carry me into the trap of the enemy. I will not let my feet carry me where the enemy might hurt him. Nobody told Nehemiah that these people were planning to kill him. Nobody told Nehemiah that they wanted to do him harm. Nobody told Nehemiah that they wanted to destroy him. But Nehemiah was confident in himself. He knew for sure his spirit was lifted. He was a certain and assured. Every time your spirit is afflicted, you will walk into a net. Psalms chapter 10 verse 9 says, He lacks in a hiding place. He lacks. He, he waits in a hiding place. Okay. As a lion, 
as a lion in Porogoma in his cover and he waits to catch the afflicted. He waits to catch the afflicted. He catches the afflicted. Then he draws them into his net. Psalm chapter 10 verse 9, he catches the afflicted. Then he lays them into his net. When your spirit is afflicted, you become easy prey for the enemy. You will easily fall into the net. Most people who end up abused, molested, money stolen from them, exploited, they are people who are spiritually and emotionally afflicted. They lack strength. But Nehemiah had strength enough to say no. Joseph was emotionally strong. That is why he was able to run from the trap from the net of Potiphar's wife. Every time you are emotionally afflicted, you will be trapped in a net. That is what Psalms chapter 10 verse 9 says. But once you are emotionally strong, Delilah used Samson's weakness used Samson's spiritual affliction and she was able to control his feet and bring him to a point where he had his hair shaved off but Nehemiah is strong spiritually. He's strong emotionally. When you are not afflicted, the power and the anointed feet will cause you to be able to run from danger. The first time Nehemiah says no, his enemy flatters again. His enemy tries again. His enemy says they are about to kill you. This time is not about discussing. This time is not about a meeting. This time we beg you, Nehemiah, before you die, run to us because they might meet you there and kill you. And Nehemiah says, no, I'm not out to make friends. I'm not out to be popular. I'm too strong for that. I'm too powerful for that. My God is my friend. He refuses to go. The third time, they send prophets. They hire prophets to prophesy wrongly so that Nehemiah's feet may walk into a trap. But again, Nehemiah realizes and he realizes that these are paid men of God men of God who have been paid to give wrong information men of God who have been paid to produce wrong things and he still says I will not go because I am busy I will not fall into that trap oh anointed feet May God empower your feet not to walk into danger, not to walk into the snare of the fowler. They are people who sit even to give wrong counsel today so that your feet may be trapped into something that is wrong. But I decree and declare.
that your feet will never be fit that will go into the hands of the enemy they will never be fit that will be ensnared by the fowler there will not be those feet that are discussed in Job chapter 18 verse 8 the feet that walk into the net oh I decree and declare that your feet tonight are aligning themselves within the boundary within the protection of our Lord that boundary is in righteousness that boundary is in obedience in what God has told you to do that boundary is in his presence may your feet empowered and be aligned to stay within the boundary to stay within the departations of the safety and the protection of God everyone that wants to hurt you the devil that is on the prowl the lion that is hiding under cover waiting to seize the afflicted waiting to hurt the afflicted will not hurt you I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that your feet will only respond to the calling of God they will not respond to the trap of the snare they will not respond to the net they will not respond to the lion in Psalms 10 verse 9 that is waiting to catch you and throw you in the net oh we are about to begin to pray we are about to begin to pray tonight God is giving you strength like Nehemiah not to heed to the call of the lion that has laid a net oh God is giving you strength may your feet empowered to stay within the boundaries I decree the oil on your feet your feet are being empowered to avoid the snare you are about to testify you are about to say you have a snake escaped the snare of the fowler oh just as Moses mother was told by the power of God was led by her anointed feet to hide her baby Moses by the river may your feet be empowered to take your children to a place where they will never be harmed to a school where they will not be infrared, infiltrated to a neighborhood where they will not be destroyed just as Moses' mother's feet were empowered to take her child to a place that has opportunity I decree and declare that you are moving out of the danger zone if Moses' mother had kept the baby in the house the enemy would have come the house was a net the, 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 the house was a trap all the other babies were being found in the houses but God empowered her feet to walk away from the net may God empower your feet tonight to walk away from the net your net may look familiar your net may even be comfortable but tonight you will escape the snare of the fowler may God empower you God empowered Moses' mother to walk to a place of opportunity and run away from a place of danger tonight may God empower your feet to walk away from danger may God empower your feet 
Job 18 verse 18 says For is he is thrown into a net By his own feet You will not be thrown into a net By your own feet Oh hallelujah Amen. In the same way God spoke to Herod In a dream And said to him Cause the baby Jesus To escape to Egypt Because Herod Is after him Oh today May God speak to you In dreams Regarding where your anointed feet should go The feet of Joseph Were empowered To walk away from the snare To walk away from danger To walk away from heart Oh Lord anoint my feet To escape the snare of the fall Oh God anoint my feet To escape the snare of the fall Oh wake me up in the night Tell me where to walk Speak to me in a dream Tell me where to walk Oh the power of God The spirit of God Enable me To know where To place my feet Oh and God spoke to Elijah God spoke to Elijah And said go hide By the brook cherry And there I will feed you Oh God Cause my feet Empower my feet To know where to go To walk away from lack To walk away from hunger God spoke to Elijah And empowered his feet To walk away from famine To walk away from lack To walk away from hunger They are feet That are stuck In gazetted areas of hunger Gazetted areas of exploitation Gazetted areas of lack Gazetted areas of lack of money Oh may God empower my feet To walk away To walk away God empowered The feet Of Elijah To walk away from lack To walk away from famine To walk away from the net And he went to a place Where there was abundance May God Lead your feet tonight May God Empower your feet tonight May God Empower our feet tonight In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus May God Empower our feet tonight He's more than faithful He's more than able Hallelujah Amen the donkey that was taking Balak to curse the children of Israel saw an angel and the donkey stopped. Oh, Balaam was about to walk into a trap. Balaam was about to walk into a curse. The angel said, if you had not stopped, I would have killed you. Balaam was about to walk into to death but the donkey's feet were stopped by an angel oh lord stop my feet every time you see a net put an obstacle every time you see a net cause me to send up to those who have laid a trap cause me to send up to those who have laid a net Cause me to send off the a donkey stood in the path and refused to go because he had seen an angel. No matter how much Balaam beat the donkey, that donkey could not move. Oh Lord, control my footsteps. Create an obstacle. Create me. Create in front of me something. That will 
stop me from moving. Create an obstacle so that I will walk away from the net. My feet will never be like those feet that will be trapped in the net of the enemy. Oh, come on, someone pray. May the oil of your feet be empowered tonight in the name of Jesus. May the oil of your feet be empowered tonight in the name of Jesus. Joseph, because he was emotionally strong, he was able to walk away from the trap of his brothers from the trap of Potiphar's wife from the net of prison someone spoke about Joseph and his feet were pulled out of the net oh come on someone that is the word of God his feet were pulled out of the net. His feet were pulled out of the net. May God pull your feet out of the net. I know that there are those people that are watching and you are already saying I ended up in this net but I'm praying right now according to his word that that the Lord will pull you out your feet out of the net our God is able to do that our God is faithful may he secure your feet from the net in the name of Jesus someone spoke about Joseph and he was taken out of that net God has the ability to do that for you. He, he can pluck your feet out of the net. I don't know for how long you have been in that net but it is never too late for the people who have been in the net. God can pluck you out of the net. Come on somebody begin to pray so that God will pluck your feet out of the net. Psalms 25 verse 15 says, My eyes are always on the Lord, for he will free, free my feet from out of the net. He will free my feet from out of the net. There are some feet that wandered away. They were not empowered and they ended up in the hands of the enemy. But as we pray tonight, I decree and declare that your feet are being empowered to be freed according to the word of God that you are walking out of that net according to Psalm 25 verse 15 you will not be contained in the trap that the enemy set before you hallelujah Amen. you are coming out in the name of Jesus before we go into disobedience and what it can cause I want to give you examples I know that there are people that are watching me and you have been through exactly the same thing that I have there are instances where you have been invited to go to places and you have 
felt no zeal to go. Your, your, your knees were weak. Your legs had lacked strength. And you had no idea that that was the spirit of God warning you that your feet were not empowered to walk that direction. The angel said to the donkey that you are taking Balaam to a wrong place. You are traveling an irresponsible journey. And you have gone sometimes. And you have lived to regret it. And I have been in the same place before. But I want you to know that they that are led by the Spirit are the children of God. And after you have called in the power of God and you are about to go somewhere and you sense a weakness in your feet. Oh, know that the Spirit of the Lord bears you conscience. Bears you witness through your conscience. And be careful where you trespass. Those who are led by the Spirit are the children of God. Never feel obligated to go to a place that your anointed feet have resisted. Never feel obligated to venture into territory that your anointed feet have said no to. Never feel forced. Never feel manipulated to venture into territory where your anointed feet are resistant to go because that place may be a snare. Oh, may your your God empower your feet tonight never to walk in an area that is not gazetted for your protection. Once the anointing comes into your house, your feet are now sensitive to walk the way of God. Once the anointing comes on you, regardless of who opposes you, you are now in in tune with the anointing of God and you will walk only the barricaded zone of God. Therefore I decree and declare that you will begin to walk only where God has ordained you to walk. May you be led by the Spirit the woman with an issue of blood even though there were people around Jesus her feet were demarcated were anointed were empowered and she said even if there is a crowd if I press on I will receive my healing that is what anointed feet do that is what anointed feet do when Mary the mother of Jesus was looking for her son and she couldn't find him when she came to the temple Jesus said to her didn't you know that I would be in my father's house a young child anointed feet are taking him to a place where he can grasp knowledge where he can know the ordinances and the word of God they are taking him away from the trap of illiteracy although his parents had raised him they could not educate him it was the synagogue that could educate him so he ran away from what would have been ignorance and he hid himself in his father's house may God empower your feet today to run away from the trap of ignorance 
from the trap of sickness from the trap of confusion may God empower you tonight may he empower your feet those who are led by the spirit are the children of God and tonight your feet are being empowered hallelujah David knew about empowered feet and he often prayed he said in Psalm 141 verse 10 let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by safely he knew that his feet were so anointed that even though he passed by the net he would pass it safely he would never fall into it. He actually said that those who lay the trap are the ones who will fall in it. Oh, come on someone, may God empower your feet today to walk away from the net. May God pluck your feet out of the net of the enemy. Out of the snare of the enemy. Some in Proverbs 26 verse 7 he says again he who digs a pit will fall into it one of the reasons why people end up ensnared is because of the seed that they have sown he who ensnares another will also be ensnared unless you can pray unless you can repent right now the Bible says in Psalm 57 verse 1 they have prepared a net for my steps but they themselves have fallen into it they have fallen into the midst of it when you come back to God when you repent God has the power to empower your feet to avoid the net of the enemy. David said, even though I walk by the net, I will escape safely. He was telling his story. David and Saul had a long walk Saul sought David. He laid snare after snare. But every time he would lay a snare, David would avoid the snare. Until one day, saw himself walks into the snare anointed feet do not avoid just one snare they continue avoiding the snare who is the devil the lion that lacks that waits in a certain place in Psalms 10 verse 9 to 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 trap the afflicted and hide them in nets. But if your feet are anointed, if they are led by the Spirit, if you are a child of God, it doesn't matter where the net is. You will walk away safely because you are walking in the demarcated protection of our Lord. And your feet will never be like the feet of Job chapter 18 verse 8. The feet that walk into a net. And should your feet accidentally walk into the net. God will pluck you out. God will pluck you out. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible keeps on comparing. 
Those who escape to birds. Sorry. To, to birds. Bad. Um, yes, sorry. And a bird can escape through a hole of a net. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 17. It is useless to spread the baited net in the sight of any bird. And the psalmist again says, I have escaped like, the, uh, uh, like, 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 like a bird. I want you to know that the power of God, the presence of God, makes you like a bird. They that wait upon the Lord, He will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. The bird like system in you will cause you to escape. If you if you have the power of God on your feet, if you have the oil on your feet, therefore today, every trap that the enemy had laid for you is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. As we come to an end, I want us to look at Jonah. Jonah. Every time you walk with somebody who is in rebellion, you may fall into their trap. Jonah rebels. God tells him to do one thing and he does another. He is on a boat and his boatmates are about to die because of his rebellion until they have a revelation and they throw Jonah off, a, uh, off board. Your feet will be ensnared if you are walking with an ensnared person. The trap that has been laid for them may easily be laid for you. Therefore, today, may God align your paths to walk in the the right direction, to walk with the right people to associate with the right dealings so that you will never be ensnared. When the men called for Balaam and they wanted him to to cast the children of Israel. God spoke to Balaam clearly. Although he wanted to go with his men. But God kept on telling him do not go with them. And when he decided to. And when God finally allowed him to go. He said go with them. But do only what I tell you to do. Because with them near them there is a trap there is an ensnare because they are ensnaring the children of Israel they too will be ensnared therefore do not walk their walk do not journey their journey do not escort them may your feet tonight child of God be sensitive to those who 
walk a snare as journey. Be sensitive to those who walk as trap as journey. Be sensitive to those who have laid nets. May your feet tonight be sensitive so that you will not fall into their nets. Jonah's boatmates did not even know that he was in rebellion. They did not get onto that boat because they wanted to be with him. But they almost fell victims of his rebellion. Oh, tonight may your feet be sensitive to the journeys of those who plot evil. May your feet be sensitive to the journey of those who want to hurt others. May your feet be sensitive to the journey of those who are looking to destroy others. May your feet be sensitive to the journey of those who want to pull others down. May you never walk at their pace. May you never walk with their intentions. May you never walk in their plans. Oh, someone, verse 1 says, Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. May your feet be sensitive to the people that you are walking with so that you will remain blessed. Never walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Never let them lead you. The people on the boat with Jonah had a revelation and they threw him overboard. They threw him into the lake. They could not move with him anymore. There are some people you will move with and every time you are with them you fall into pits. You fall into nets. You fall into situations. Tonight if you have people like that anoint and pray for them decree the power of God upon their feet cancel them so that they will no longer walk in evil but they will walk a blessed walk may your feet be sensitive to those who walk the walk of evil and may you walk with only those that are blessed because blessed is he who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, I decree and declare that the power of God will come upon your feet to walk with the right people in the right place and in the right time in the mighty name of Jesus. May your feet be empowered to walk a safe route. May your feet be sensitive to choose travel companions so that you will walk away from the net so that you will walk away from the trap so that you will walk away from the power of the enemy hallelujah amen the children of Israel had a safe zone all the time they were in Israel but when the direction of God came when he said put on your sandals when he said eat while standing when God gave direction that they should move now from Egypt and leave from the place that they had had a demarcation and leave then the grace to be protected in that area had lifted and it was time to move on obedience 
Obedience Obugonvu. is better than sacrifice. Sadaka. May your feet be empowered e to be led by the Spirit. E because those who are led by the Spirit e are the children of God. E May your feet be empowered tonight e to escape the net o e mitego. and to be sensitive o yaula. to traveling companions. E abani bo nabo. May your feet e be empowered. Be Just as the feet of Mordecai Ngane e Mordecai were empowered we to escape the plan of Haman as his feet were empowered to come and disclose that plan so that the children of Israel could escape it. May your feet be empowered for plans and purposes of salvation. For the plans and purposes of the work of God. May your feet continue to be empowered. Never be intimidated. Walk like Nehemiah. No matter who frightens you, say to your feet, you are anointed feet. You will not walk where God does not want you to walk. You will not walk where God is not. Speak to your feet tonight as the choir comes in to minister. Say, like Nehemiah, my feet, you have a great work. My feet, you have a great building to do. My feet, you have a great service to do. You will not walk an idle journey. You will not walk an unplanned journey. You will not walk a journey that is useless. My feet, you are empowered feet. You will only walk where God Katonda has gazetted protection for me. God bless you. And as the choir continues to minister, may you pray for the for your feet to be empowered. That they will be plucked from the net of the enemy. Amen.